Toshvayz Parashat Teruma. He says, Yezu Lefanav. It says that a person, the Pasuk says that a person has to come before Hashem. It doesn't say, Milfanav, Loketiv. It doesn't say, uh, from before him, right? Rather, Lefanav, which is in front of him, right? Not from before him, right? In front of him. Because there's nobody who can uh, come understand something in front of a Kaddish Baruch Hu before him. But somebody who comes before a Kaddish Baruch Hu, he has to come with happiness and not with sadness. Because he, he's talking about the Bina, which the word Lefanav here is referring to Bina. That's uh, the understanding that Ma'ala Bina is associated with Simha. Okay, so a person has to, in order to tap into this power of the Bina, he has to come through with happiness to Hashem. Begin the Hayrakiya Garim. Because this will cause it that he wants his uh, prayer to go up and he wants his uh, Avodah to be accepted. He has to do it with happiness. The Taman Lo Sharia Itzuvi Rukzakla. In Shamaim, there's no room for sadness. There's no room for uh, unhappiness. It's uh, related to Sitra Achra. It's related to, it's related to uh, depression. And they're related to uh, the, the other side and the impurity. That's sadness. But in front of Kadosh Baruch Hu, in front of Kadosh Baruch Hu, in Shamaim, there's only joy and there's only happiness. Because over there, everything is uh, with joy. So that's why the Pasuk says, You should go and be happiness and have happiness in front of him. Therefore, the Kohen Gadol who comes before Kadosh Baruch Hu in the Kodesh Kodeshim, he was not allowed to go into the Kodesh unless he was with happiness. And he had to show, see the happiness there. Because the place itself is a place where there is a Shechina, and therefore automatically there's happiness there. There's no room for anything else. So therefore you're not allowed to enter with any, anything else. You have to come with happiness. Besimha bo lefana bernana. That's the pasuk says that come and serve Hashem with joy. Come in front of Him with song. When a person comes and sings, that means he's in joy. When people sing, they're happy. So therefore, the aitzrech lo echazal lebayetivu because a person has to make sure to come in front of Hashem and to be able to come connect to Him and rear tefillah to go up. A person has to come with joy. And therefore, he says, "Viti miyachi haiman diu betara duchka lo yachil lemechdebe." According to this, somebody who has a lot of suffering and he's having a difficulty and he's not able to push himself to be happy. And because of his so much stress he has and so much problems he has, he's asking Rahamim from the from Akhadash Baruchu. If, if therefore, what happens if so? So he's how he's gonna be able to pray. He should not pray at all. Why? What's gonna happen? He's gonna go and be sad. He's not going to be able to uplift his prayer. He's not able to come to come close to Kadosh Baruch Hu because he's not going to be able to hold back his suffering and his sadness. This that he has this tsar during the prayer. So what should he do? What should this man do if he has so much suffering? He can't be happy. What should he do? How could he pray? So the answer is that must be. There's another way. What does it mean? We learn of Sechav Amtiyah. Once the temple was destroyed, all the gates were closed. It used to be gates were open. Now gates are closed. What's the only gate that was not closed? The gates of tears were never closed. Because even though the Beit HaMikdash was destroyed and our connection to Hashem was slightly severed, so therefore we don't have those gates access to access Hashem like we used to. But there's one that wasn't touched. What was that? That is the gate of suffering, a person crying from his suffering. And he's crying to Hashem for Rahamim. There, Akadosh Baruch Hu left that gate always open, and therefore he can have mercy on you. No one cries except for when he has tremendous suffering. All the angels that are in charge of the gate of, of crying, gate of tears, everyone, all of them, they have the power to break. Let's say a person has prosecuting angels on him, and those angels they are going and causing him suffering, and Hashem decreed that they should go and make you problems. These angels that you access when you open the gate, when you use the gate of tears, they have the strength to break any prosecuting angels. They have the strength to go and remove from you all bad decrees. And those tears bring up your prayer through the gate of tears. And it brings the prayer right in front of a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and therefore all the decrees are annulled. So therefore a person has to know, if you cannot pray through happiness, you have to pray through tears from the depths of your heart. 
because the gates of tears are never closed. And therefore that place where a person has the suffering and he has a, he's sad and he's going through difficulty. Like it says, As you should know, the Pasuk says every time a Jew suffers, Hashem suffers. Hashem feels it also. So therefore, And HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants that he shouldn't he sees that there's a place in the world where there's sadness and he's so imparable, it's un- impossible to keep and unbearable to, to see. Hashem says, you know, I have to make this guy happy. I have to take this guy out of this uh, sadness. So therefore, when a person uh, cries and he brings that prayer to Hashem, he says, then, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Rip of decrees, Hashem will remove from, himself all the, or remove from him all the bad things that he has on him and turn that place in the place of, if do with Hashem, to serve Hashem.